Wait, why do electric cars have to make fake sounds? Cars come in two main types nowadays, traditional gasoline cars and the increasingly more popular electric vehicle, or more commonly, we call it EV. Both get you from point A to B, but the way they do it and the effect along the way are very different. A gasoline car uses an engine that burns fuel, and the fuel being a mix of hydrocarbons and petrol or diesel. When fuel burns inside the engine, it releases heat and expanding gases. But those gases are super powerful. They push the pistons, which turn the crankshaft, so that we can convert linear motion into rotational motion. Through gears and axles, that motion makes the wheels spin. But then this whole process emits gases like carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxides. One is a major greenhouse gas, and the other contributes to acid rain. Now imagine a car with no internal combustion engine, no fuel tank, and far fewer moving parts. That's an electric car. They work in a completely different way, and instead of burning fuel, it stores energy in a large battery. And that battery it powers an electric motor. Inside the motor, coils of wire carry an electrical current to create magnetic fields. These fields can interact with permanent magnets to produce a rotational force. That's basically how they get wheels to spin. So because EVs skip combustion entirely, they're almost silent. So did you know electric cars are so quiet at low speeds that manufacturers actually add artificial noise to them? But why? Imagine a car behind you being so quiet that you don't notice it. That's problematic, especially for children, older pedestrians, or people with limited eyesight. To solve this problem, both the United States and the European Union require EVs to make sounds at lower speeds. Car companies even hire sound designers to create them. It's like composing a ringtone for your vehicle. So the sound can vary by brand. Okay, so tell me which one you prefer. Those that mimic the soft hum of an engine like this, or others that use futuristic tones like this. But ultimately, we're not going to choose a vehicle based on how cool they sound. Okay, maybe you will. But we also think about its energy efficiency and emissions. One of the biggest everyday differences between gas cars and EVs is how you refuel. With gas cars, you stop at a station, pay whatever current fuel price is, and you get back on the road in minutes. Simple, no wait time, but prices can swing a lot depending on oil markets and your gas station. Electric vehicles flip that experience because most charging happens at home overnight when electricity demand is lower. You plug in, go to sleep, and wake up to a full battery. The cost does depend on your local electricity rates, but in many places, powering an EV for a week costs the same as buying just half a tank of gasoline. Charging does take longer than filling a gas tank, and for road trips, that's something to plan around. But for daily commutes where most people drive less than 50 kilometers a day, charging at home is often more convenient than making a trip to the gas station. Yeah, home charging is easy for daily driving, but my favorite part about EVs is actually something that happens when you hit the brakes. That's regenerative braking, which recycles your energy back into the battery. When you press the brake, the electric motor doesn't just stop the wheels. It switches roles and becomes a generator. Instead of wasting your car's kinetic energy as heat, the motor converts that motion back into electricity and sends it straight to the battery. This means every time you slow down, you're actually putting energy back into your car, extending your range. It's a real life example of conservation of energy. The total energy is not lost, is just transformed. Electrical vehicles are still evolving, and the focus is starting to shift. Well, sure, some EVs can accelerate faster than most petrol cars. But the bigger innovations are not just about raw power. They're about efficiency, smarter energy use, and convenience. Batteries are getting better, charging is getting faster, and regenerative systems are extending range. The next generation of EVs aim to balance performance with everyday usability, so technology can serve both the driver and the planet.